Hello and welcome back to another episode and enjoy! Promoted to guest star, my bills have been delivered well. On the positive note, come and quickly pay the bills before heading inside. My bills are equivalent to what I just earned, so we kind of lost no money. Where's our Todd though and what's wrong with him? Oh, everything's wrong with him. Well, do you want to go and go potty because you can do that on your own? Oh, that poor kid's pretty much going to raise himself to be honest. And we're out of blood bags. Oh, how's our plants going out here? Oh, have I been watering them? Water them. Our little toddler will be fine, okay? Vampire secrets, order some plasma packs. It was nice not worrying about plasma bag packs for a small period of time there. Well, we are now home and we finished our job and Camilla earned $280. Nice job, Camilla. Hang on a second. Before you go in there and take a shower, although I do understand you really need to. Who is this? Brody. Do you want to come to my birthday party? Oh, I'm gonna say no. Did it, can't take that back. That felt a bit harsh though, we probably should have gone to his birthday party. Let's, I wanna change, how do we change our agency? We'll hire a new acting agency. Nice. Let's see if there's any new acting agencies available for us. Hello, I'm just calling up to get out of the one I'm with. Oh, the Grand Talent Agency. Join the Goldie Roosfield family. Our team will provide you with the same care and guidance that Goldie provided to silver screen legends such as Chesterfield Coupola and Anne Chaplin. Benefits, connections with directors in the history and musical genres will open up opportunities to these gigs to lower level actors. Extra comfort when auditions are not successful. And while suited talent represents only the best who perform their best and expect the best, you don't perform an icon without some sweat, some tears, and more wardrobe changes than a storefront mannequin during fashion week. Benefits. Better negotiated pay for drama and acting, prime TV, and movie gigs. Well, I think we're going to go with the well-suited talent agency. Congrats, Alexa. You are now represented by the best of the best. Well-suited talent. We expect you to represent us as well as we represent you. Get out there, work hard, and start earning those award nominations. Steal the spotlight and earn some cash. One of our agents will call you shortly with auditions for roles befitting someone of your skill. So what, do we wait? I don't really like that. I think we'll just find our own auditions. I wish you could line up multiple, like, gigs and auditions so you could do lots of stuff. She's just sitting there drinking blood out in the open. Maybe it's disguised. Sudsy start wild flames casting the next goofy but lovable romantic interest for season six of wild flames or critters from the Moven forest. Looking for cheery personality to who can emote expressively while wearing a 25 LB headpiece. Um, might as well go for this one here because I have guitar level three. I have that. So update our social media status and and add Simpstagram story. And how's our fame looking? Oh, look at that. You can now see it over the start. And how's our fame doing? I feel like we're so close. New video inventory. No, we've got nothing left. Can we? Oh, we can post updates. Reply to comments. And then I guess we also might as well update our social media status and add a Simstagram story. And then come back and eat a hamburger. Nice. Well, she's doing pretty successfully, I would like to say myself. And I just want her to become a newable newcomer. <gasps> Camilla is now a one-star celebrity. Camilla has started down the path to stardom. Oh, Camilla, you're so fun. Oh, yeah. So, now if we head in here and we go to our fame points, I thought she could have a corporate partnership. Upload videos for increased fame and money. Yes, please. Uploads from the video station and music station will earn Camilla more fame than normal. In addition, Camilla's influence will become a commodity that corporate brands co cover as a means of reaching the target audience. Camilla will occasionally receive phone calls from corporate and ad agencies with a timed request to upload a video for an immediate payment bonus. Why yes please. And now she can get some quirks. Oh finally. I'm so proud of her. And when is her audition? 7pm tomorrow. Nice. And I want to get your writing level up. 
because I feel like it's really holding you back in your career. She's already at 984 followers. I think what we're going to do is we're going to enter create a sim because these guys need makeovers. And I want to add a couple. I mean, I do feel like we've got, once we've hit $10,000, I think this place needs a complete revamp. Maybe actually, I think we will, we will move house. We'll stay together, but we shall move. Um, do you want to get your kid out? Let out. Oh, I'm so proud of her for making it to a notable newcomer. You can take your kid in and give Avery a bubble bath, putting him in a playful mood this late at night. How is your vampire going? I feel like I should test my theory. And actually, I think I'm going to need to leave about seven points up here. So what do we have here? Mesmerize, put another sim into a trance. When prey is moving too quickly or you won't stop talking or Alexa simply wants to force a sim into a catatonic state, she simply needs Mesmerize. Child of the Moon, not been over this. Irresistible Slumber. What if Alexa could command others to sleep at will? Her will that is, Irresistible Slumber would drop them to the floor with nothing but Z's and snoring to show for it. Manipulate Life Spirit. Gain the power to drain Life Spirit from other sims or restore Life Spirit from those who have been drained. Unlocks true power over life itself. Drains Life Spirit from other sims, making them highly susceptible to adverse vampiric powers. Enables Alexa to protect the ones she loves or simply refresh her prey using Restore Life Spirit. Vampiric Charm. Alexa's Vampiric Charm makes her all the more effective at the game of love. I am kind of feeling that one. Vampiric Strength. Vampiric Strength grants Alexa an edge when it comes to fitness, sparring or fighting. We did just lose to Vlad twice. Command. Control the minds of others. When life's pesky errands must be run, spare Alexa's cuticles and soft ancient hands and have her command others to perform cleaning, repairing and other joyful household tasks instead. I don't care about Gala community. Vampiric Creation don't actually want to turn people. Detect personality, nope, doesn't infect me. Bat form, ugh, no. Casting, everyone needs a friend, yes. What if a friend was one of Alexa's devise, devising? And what if it doesn't really exist? No one will be able to tell. Nah, I'm always welcome anyway and use less vampiric energy. Well, I'm kind of thinking, imagine if we got mesmerize, command, and hallucination. Five, oh, we could. Nice, so now we're just like a really kind of rude, oh, and we could still get vampiric charm. Nice, okay, so let's tick this. So I guess we need to invite over a victim now. Invite over a victim. Who do I want to invite over? Not Jamari, that seems real cruel. Not Vlad, because he is a vampire. Uh, Morgan, come on over. Yes, Morgan. Oh no, what is wrong with this kid? Oh, why are you not showering him? Where is he? Take a bath. Okay, we are just about to take a bath. All right, well, let's try some of our new vampire tricks on her. Let's vampire mesmerize. Oh my goodness. Look at what we've done to young Morgan here. Uh, vampire. I can't do anything. Oh, I do not have enough vampire energy. Well, might as well compel for a deep drink. While she's in this dazed thing. It saves us so much money. And she's just heading straight off to bed anyway, so what does it matter? No, she's she's too broken. Alright, come back and sleep. And we have finally entered Creator Sim to give these little guys a bit of a makeover. So we've started off with Avery. And because we're playing on a long mode, Avery will actually be a toddler for a really long time. We will age him up on our own, obviously, but for the most part, I'm just gonna let him sort of age up as he would naturally. We're not gonna do anything too drastic. We will eventually age him up, I guess, once he's at the top of his little toddler traits and stuff to give him the best upbringing we possibly can. But for now, I think it's important that he gets to be a toddler and we don't age him up into a child too quickly, get him into celebrity and fame. But again, we will eventually age him up when we feel like the time is right. So yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this creator sim, which is pretty unusual for me, but I went a little bit different. So for Avery, we've made him adorable. I've used all of my favorite toddler clothes, and for obviously after we finish off Avery, we move straight into Alexa. And because these guys are both celebrities now, they're both notable newcomers, I wanted them to look like notable newcomers. So we started off with Alexa's human form and we did that up. I've actually dyed her hair color as you may see in a few seconds. Oh, she's already got her hair dyed. I don't know why I thought she cheated that later. Yeah, I really enjoy doing Alexa's hair and makeup. I really enjoy getting her in her formal wear and her party wear and of course we've got numerous items for each of them. But the girls look really glammed up. Now for Alexa, I didn't bother with her makeup. I don't know, I felt like it didn't fit her character. She's very girly she's very young. So if we go over her character a little bit because I feel like we haven't touched on her character enough. Wants to be famous and to feel loved. She 
often doesn't feel loved. Her and obviously her and Camilla aren't really close friends. It was nice of Camilla to let her in considering they aren't the closest. But Samara, she just wants love. It's why she married into essentially this loveless marriage with Jamari. It's because, I mean, she, she just wants to feel that love and stuff. Now she has quite a low self-esteem. She's a gloomy sim, she's a good sim, she's a musical sim, and she's very reliant on others, very irresponsible and impulsive, and uh, her low self-esteem sort of affects the way she is, and it's why she wants to be so famous in this world. You know, that's just her character. And here she is with, uh, we're doing her vampiric form. We've gone old for her vampiric form. I wanted to have so much fun with her vampiric form, which is why she looks like she's straight out of like the 1800s. And I thought that that was so hilarious that she'll jump into that form. Now we're moving on now to Camilla. And for Camilla, she is driven to give her son a better life than the life she had. She was a little bit promiscuous in models. She did not take life seriously, but she is a hardworking sim. She has got commitment issues. She's hot-headed. She's self-assured. She's friendly, which I think, you know, suits her personality really well. And she really wants to make it on her own. She really wants to be her own unique sim. So we really focus on her makeup here and giving her really outgoing, really self-assured outfits that she looks fabulous in every single step of the way. Now, I think it's important we mention with Camilla that she used to want to be evil in the previous Models Let's Play and that's because she likes attention. So her YouTubing channel and stuff, we haven't focused a heck of a deal on her, but we are going to focus on her a little bit more as the time progresses because we want her to be a superstar. We want her to be really, really, really famous. So despite us not having focused on her yet, we are going to, she will eventually move into a massive mansion with her son. And I think she will kind of mooch off her son a little bit as we go on later on. Not because she can't stand on her own two feet, because she can but we'll probably mooch, mooch on her son just a smidge because, what's the right wording here? Just because her son will end up incredibly famous as well. And so they'll both be incredibly rich and she'll be drawn into that life of being rich. So for now, she is, I would say, very humble. I mean, her outfits are very outgoing because she likes to be the center of attention, which could make things a little bit awkward between her and Alexa. But for now, she is laid, she is very laid back and stuff. Same with Alexa, uh, same with Alexa. Alexa doesn't want to be a vampire at this particular point, although in this episode she's sort of delving into her vampiric nature a little bit more, which I think is really cool to see. This wraps up our cast. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this part here. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode, that you are looking forward to the next episode, and if you've got any suggestions or anything you liked or anything I should do, leave it in the comment section down below because I absolutely love your guys' comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay toasty. Bye.